How do I know if there is a jinx or curse on me, if someone is wishing me bad or someone is doing witchcraft on me using a voodoo doll, for example? First of all, such artificial influence is always felt through a change in the state of the consciousness, a change in health, diminished performance and a loss of the ability to concentrate. All cognitive functions, in other words, something starts to suddenly change and doesn't do so gradually but discreetly, in jerks. Like you fell asleep in the evening being normal and woke up in the morning as a foolish fool fell asleep healthy and woke up completely ill and broken. Running diagnostics also helps. If you suddenly feel such abrupt, sudden changes in your state of being, it is never out of nowhere. It always is, as a rule, a certain third force getting involved in you, your space, forcing you not to be whole in that space any longer, making you fall out of your usual reality. It means that something interfered. In these regards, I always say to my students and free listeners that it is a sign when in the midst of being healthy you suddenly start to feel bad. It is surely a third force interfering. Maybe not forcedly aimed at you, maybe you just happen to accidentally come under fire, but it also may be aimed at you directly. It is surely better to get to know the source of the interference using diagnostics, for those who already know how to do that. Many instruments are available for this. There are runes, tarot cards, simple playing cards, the pendulum, different kinds of castings, Wax casting, lead casting, who owns what, whatever instrument one possesses. If you have the skill of using a tool yourself, good, you will quickly diagnose yourself. If you don't, then it's better to consult a master, a specialist, who will simply run a diagnostic, at least giving you an understanding of where the influence came from. It is unlikely that you're just being overly suspicious, because you wouldn't have otherwise felt it psychologically and physically. It just means you receive the information from somewhere. Sometimes it happens that information simply comes to you on its own, information from a source that is poisonous to you. Yes, simply received a packet of information, especially now in our informationally overloaded world. There is just a gigantic flow of information virus-like, which on the one hand develops our mental immunity and on the other weeds out the weak. These are viruses. One should approach them with understanding. Such is our world, such is our reality. There is a cruel battle taking place right now. A fight for the right to live in other realities. Like before Ragnarok, like before the last battle, the strong ones have to join it, the ones who are ready, ready to fight for what's theirs. And this means that you have to pass all previous trials, all primary stages and tests as well. Perceive what's happening exactly this way. It is not that it will be easier for you, it will be right. Because this way you will feel yourself as a warrior going into the battle with the unknown and will stop feeling as a victim of circumstances, which is very important. When people feel as victims of circumstances, they become dependent on these circumstances, meaning that they become a victim by definition, and no matter whose victim really. Of circumstances, other people, or of the system, makes no difference. Whereas this way you will feel as a warrior. Perceive your misfortunes as an inviability test in regard to certain things and immediately start correcting them. I assure you, colleagues, that through a correct analysis, along with an unbiased and unoffended outlook at reality, you will see that the problem in your loss to the society or to the other people lies in the fact that you very much put your trust in this society and in other people. In other words, you are dependent on them. Again, dependency. 
And dependency is always internal. The reason for dependency is always inside you. You find it much more comfortable to rely on something you shouldn't rely on. This means that the time has come to revise all your contacts and understand which ones are actually toxic, damaging, degrading your power and inner dignity, and probably your will as well. Erasing your will in a certain way, not allowing you to manifest this will, such as in declaring your rights and your personal intention of building your personal reality without relying on someone else's opinion or on social institutes, or anything else which appears to be a very comfortable tool but an extremely damaging life pillar.